cheese is something great to have on keto, so this would be for my husband because I'm dairy free. But you get the um, De Rossi pizza cheese, so this has Parmesan, tasty cheese, and mozzarella in it. And you get two one kilo packs for $20. There's also, you can get the two one kilo packs of mozzarella, and these are 20 as well. And then there's also just the tasty cheese, which is kind of like our version of cheddar, but it's not as strong. Um, and these are the two one kilo packs for uh, $17.80. We do have the Mexican style blend, which we have at home right now. And I really like this um, for the kids, because it's, it's not, the pieces aren't huge. Like it's a much finer shred. And this is the Monterey Jack medium cheddar queso quesadilla and the acetero cheese. And this is um, 1.13 kilos. And I think it's, yeah, it's $12 for that one. And it's the only one that comes in a resealable bag, which is a bit of a pet peeve of mine because these are huge bags and they don't reseal. <laughs> you get spillage, right? I've had one fall that was open out of the fridge and go all over the floor. Um, they have cheese blocks here. So these are good for just snacking, but you need to be careful. Too much cheese will cause like weight gain, weight stalls, all of that. So this is the Coon Tasty Cheese. It's one kilo block for 9.80. Then they've got the Sharp Cheddar Cheese which is $8 for 907 grams. And they also have a Monterey Jack cheese, which I loved using for pizzas because it has such a nice melt and uh, flavor to it. And this is 907 grams for 850 and it's almost out. So obviously people like it. And then you have the sliced cheese, cheeses like the Kraft Singles. These are uh, 52 of them for 970. You've got the tasty cheese ones. These are 1.5 kilos for 17. And then they also have, this is a new product. So this is the good to go. I showed this in another video. So these would be good on keto for like a to go snack. So it's got tasty cheese and chili garlic olives. So there's five packs in here. And you can see here, it's got 1.4 grams of carbs in the serving. So that's a nice quick snack to grab. Or if you're a person who tends to sabotage yourself with snacks, or not snacks, but just by eating all kinds of stuff, this would be a good, kind of way to limit yourself because it's already pre-portioned. And these are $13 for the five packs. And the last bit of cheese here outside of the deli is like getting the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. So these are four packs of the, I think they're the eight ounce bricks. They're 250 grams and these are $15. They've got the two kilos of feta cheese. We've gotten this and it's really, really yummy. Um, it's $22. Then they also have the containers of Philadelphia cream cheese and they're three 250 uh, gram containers. So these ones are more spreadable than obviously than the bricks. And these are 1140. And then they have some softer cheeses. So the boccaccini, which we have at home is really, really yummy. And this one is, oh, this is pretty good. This one is 1.4 grams per serving. So 1.4 grams of uh, carbs, one kilo for 12.40 and then they have halloumi. So this stuff is awesome. It's a great cheese that you can fry. You can put it on kebabs because it doesn't melt. And this one here you can see has less than one gram. So these ones are, is a really good option um, to like add to salads, to any kind of dinner. And this is $25 for the two kilos, which is a really, really good deal. So this is a great option for like sweet. So if you're looking for something that's kind of just tasty, like a little treat, you could do this on berries or such. So this is, unsweetened dairy whip, so it's whipped cream in a canister. And you can see here that it's got very little carbs, it's only 0 0.6 in a serving. And this is $6 for this canister. So you could throw that on like coffee to spruce it up or on berries, which is what I do. In Australia here, it's really difficult to find um, just like whipping cream. So we have thickened cream, which is pasteurized cream with a halal gelatin and a thickener. So these ones always have, they do have some carbs, not very much, um, but you can get one liter here at Costco of the thickened cream for $4.89, which I think you only get 600 mils for three something at Woolies. So that's a pretty good deal. We're not lucky like the US and have the full fat sour cream in our Costco's, unfortunately. I remember we used to get, or maybe it was in Canada. It was in one of the places we used to get a farmer's sour cream, which is like super thick and it had really low carb and it was delicious, but they don't, they only have the light sour cream here at uh, Costco in Australia. So obviously butter is a good thing to have on keto. Um, not for me because I'm dairy free, so I use pork lard, which you can't buy at Costco, unfortunately. So they have the Devondale salted uh, butter blocks. These are three 500 grams for $17. And they have the salted 
as well as the unsalted, and the unsalted is $17 as well, and they do have an uh, organic butter here. So this might be as close to our like Kerrygold as you could kind of get. Uh, they don't unfortunately sell that here in Australia, and this is 500 grams for $7.70, so it's quite expensive. Um, I mean, unless you're really worried about doing completely organic everything, I would just stick with the regular butter. One of the keys to success with uh, keto with us is having easier things to make. Like I will, if, if I do any kind of homemade stuff or like strictly homemade, like burger patties and things, I will do a massive batch of them just because it's easier. If you can grab it and eat it and it's simple, then you're more likely to do it than if you have to put all this effort into like making all these different things to make one meal, uh, especially when you're doing a diet. So these are the Angus beef, so the petite cuisine Angus beef patties. We have these. They're 1.5 kilo. They're in a container and they're separate up by parchment paper and these ones do have a bit of wheat flour and stuff in them but the carb count is pretty low and I, I mean the amount that would be in here would be very minute um, so they're 3.5 grams of carbs per patty and they're really really good like even my kids like them and I mean that's a huge thing for my picky eater children and these are 1950 then they also have uh, these are pure or sorry Angus homestyle beef uh, burgers they are all natural you get 12 of them and these ones, they see they have tapioca starch and maize, which is corn. So I mean, they all kind of have a little bit in, in there because they need a binder so they don't fall apart. And these are 1.8 grams. This is the most comparable you're gonna get to the, the Kirkland Signature ones because they don't tend to carry them in our stores. And these ones up here are uh, $24 for the 12. We also pick up the steamer packs of this Nature's Touch broccoli floret. So you get four steamer packs. Uh, so it turns out to be 1.81 kilos for $12. Depending on if you're going organic or not with keto, there is lots of uh, preserved hams, like sliced hams and deli meats. So there's the four packs of the Tabaldi uh, champagne ham. So these ones, you get four 125 packs. Just show you in here. And these are 680. Um, they do have the honey ham, but that one would be sweetened. So you'd want to kind of stay away from that one. My kids love it though. I think it's great. There's uh, the thinly sliced leg hams. These are four 125 gram packs for $6. Then you've got the Primo Hungarian, uh, white Hungarian salami. This one, unfortunately, oh, it does have a price here. So this is two 300 gram packs. So you could cut those and freeze one. Uh, and these are uh, 1280 so these are also good to throw on like pizzas and things like that or even in salads as a snack with cheese like you can see here they've got this the thinly sliced I wouldn't put it on bread but you could or unless it's a keto bread uh, but you could do it with mozzarella slices and this is two 250 gram of the thinly sliced pepperoni for 1050 they've got the twiggy sticks those ones are really good you get two 500 packs of them and I think these ones are mild yeah they don't have the hot ones here uh, and these are $20 and you've got chorizo sausage, two 500 gram links. So these are from Primo as well. These are great to uh, fry up with like eggs and things like that for $15.80. They've got the cabana sticks. These are Primo, so lots of Primo products. You get four sticks for $750. And they are uh, $750 and then there's prosciutto. This is 500 grams for $20. That is an amazing deal because prosciutto is so expensive. Um, I would stay away from the cocktail franks ex here, especially because they have like a casing on them. Um, but if you like them, you can get the three, uh, three 500 gram packets of the cocktail frankfurters and they are 760. Then there's the skinless. See, this is the thing that I had to get used to here because I didn't realize there were skin on and skinless hot dogs. So these are pork hot dogs from Coburg, which is the same brand we get our uh, bacon from, and these are one kilo for $10. And these are skinless frankfurters. This is one kilo for $6.50, so that's a really good deal. Our favorite brand of bacon here is the Coburg American Style Squeaky Bacon. Um, it is, it just kind of reminds me of home because this is the bacon we would eat uh, at home and in, in when we lived in the US, where this is actually kind of difficult to find one that tastes like it's traditional style, like Western bacon. And this is a three 300 gram pack. So I just cut them down the center here and then I freeze them and grab them when I need them. And this is for 1380. They do have like the shortcut bacon is 
more popular here in Australia, and this is kind of what we would call Canadian bacon, except it doesn't have the, like, or the female bacon, it doesn't have that around the outside. And this is rindless. You get one kilo for 11.50. And I'll show you kind of in the back there what it looks like. So we always have some kind of frozen fruit in the freezer, especially because with the kids, and then I throw them in like protein shakes and smoothies for us. So this is the Kirkland Signature Organic Strawberries. You get a 1.81 kilo pack, it's sealable here. You can see for uh, 16.80. And then they have the, I always get the organic blueberries just because I find that that's um, just their better quality. And these are the Kirkland Signature Organic ones. And you get 1.36 kilos for 12.90. And then they have the raspberries. So these are really yummy. These are speedy berry raspberries, one kilo for $12. And then they also have the mixed berries. So they have like the strawberries, or sorry, this is blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And this is Kirkland Signature. They're grown in the USA, it says. It's a resealable bag for two kilos and it's uh, $16. So these are good to have, uh, even as a treat, like if you let them thaw a little bit and put some of that like um, unsweetened whipped cream on it, uh, it's really, really yummy. There's lots of um, fish and seafood options here at Costco as well. Like there's the Atlantic salmon. These ones are individually vacuum packed. You get 1.36 kilos for uh, $44.90. And then there's also, uh, these are skin on ones. So the other ones were skinless. And these are uh, 1.36 kilos. They're the fine catch ones. And these are individually packed from Norway. And these are 35. Then you can get like a whole salmon filet from the same brand, so KB's. Oh, this is marinated. So you wanna be careful with the marinations because they tend to add uh, sugars and stuff. They do have the Kirkland Signature Alaskan Sockeye Salmon. This is 1.36 kilos. These are boneless skin on fillets and they're individually vacuum packed for 50. Then you've got the barramundi skin on portions. These are two kilos for 35. There's the basa fillets, two kilos for 19. And you can kind of go through, so you have to stay away from obviously the breaded stuff, but there's more of the whiting. These are skin on, uh, 1.5 kilos for 14. And then you've got your prawns. So there's cooked prawns and with uh, salad prawns, so these are the little, little ones. These are 908 grams for 23. And then you get the cooked prawns, the larger ones, the cocktail ones with the tail on. Um, these are 908 grams, so the 21, 25 count per 453 grams, it says for 30. And then you've got the red, wild caught red prawns. These are uh, one kilo for 30. And you can see there's lots of other ones. There's like green, green shell mussels. These are 12 or $13. There's lobster tails up there. These are $100 a kilo. You can get uh, frozen king crab legs. These are $350 for the big massive box. So you're getting 4.5 kilos. And there's snow crab ones for, it's 10 kilo box for from chili for 150 and there's frozen whole cooked tiger prawns three kilos for 75 so fermented foods are so healthy for you they help your gut bio and everything so they do have kimchi here um, which my kids actually really really like which is interesting um, because they can be quite picky with other things but they love this kimchi and this is 1.5 kilos for $11 and it only gets better as it sits always the nice thing about it. So the cheeses that we tend to buy outside of the shredded ones are the coastal rugged mature English cheddar. This is my favorite when I can eat dairy. And this is 490 grams for $11. And it has those little like crunchy bits inside that the aged cheddar has. And this is really the only aged cheddar we have here that's good. There's other ones that are like bitter and sour but not like the way they're supposed to be that just taste off that I've gotten at Woolies and I will never get a uh, an aged cheddar from there again. Only this one here at Costco. Um, we also pick up 
the blue cheese, the Costello Danish blue cheese. My uh, oldest and my husband love this, uh, especially on like burgers and things like that. This is uh, two 200 gram kind of triangles for $13. And it's, I find one of the best blue cheeses they have here as well as, uh, this is a newer product here at Costco and these are the little um, Parmesan Reggiano like individual cheeses. So these would be good to have as a snack. Or even, like I said, I've said in other videos, if you're just gonna shred up a bit, like, or grate it, you could just grab one out and you're not cutting off of a big brick. And this is 20 little pieces. Uh, they're 20, 20 gram pieces for uh, $17. Mozzarella can be a good little snacking cheese. I mean, you definitely have to be really careful with cheeses in general, but we get this mozzarella pair. It's one kilo for $12.50. Uh, my husband loves to snack on this, so does my oldest daughter. Then there's more smaller options for feta, so it's like 19 or $20 here for this one kilo of feta. I, it's still a better deal if you get the big bucket. And again, with the smaller, uh, only 750 grams of halloumi. So this one is $15, but you get, and then what was it, two or three kilos for a lot less. Like overall, like the unit price would be better uh, if you get the big bucket of it. Rotisserie chickens are a great option, especially if you're looking for a quick meal um, to kind of have at home. So these are $7 for a whole rotisserie chicken, which is the cheapest you'll get them here. And I think they're around four or five dollars in the US and Canada. You can also get, I think at the end of the day, they take all the extra chicken and they shred it up and put it in uh, containers that you can actually buy in the takeaway area as well. So that's another option um, for easy salads and stuff so you don't actually have to shred it up yourself. So I'm not gonna go through all of the meat that you can get here at Costco, but they have a huge selection of uh, uh, beef, they've got pork, they've got chicken, lamb, uh, lots of options for chicken and things like that. They do have marinated things and they also have a huge amount of fresh seafood as well. So you can get your different fillets. I know a lot of people like this with like a homemade pesto that doesn't have uh, or has minimal pine nuts in it because then you can put it on there and it's really, really delicious. There's skin on options, there's skin off options, there's tuna. You know, the, this is the area probably that changes over the most, which is the seafood. And they tend to go on sale in Australia on the weekend. So like, if you're coming in for Monday, the sale will end Monday and probably on Saturday or Sunday to try to get rid of all of this stuff so they can replace it with new things. So that's a good time to kind of shop for uh, your seafood. And again, like, I mean, the beef and chicken and lamb, and they have meatballs and sausages, and they have massive packs with like brisket and everything in it. So Costco is a really good place for good quality meat. So for fresh products, like fresh food, the salad bags are really great. Like the spinach, you get 350 grams for uh, 460. And it's the same with the, like the mixed salad mix as well. It's 460. They've got uh, pak choy. So this is 330. You can get your, raw, or your uh, baby cause hearts. So these are lettuce packs for uh, $5. You can get things like ginger for 20, you have 500 grams. There's spring onions. Uh, they're still cheaper at Woolies, so I tend to kind of get them there because here you get this pack for uh, 429. Now they have some fresh herbs. It's just continental parsley and coriander, and they're both uh, 349 for your pack, which is supposed to be the equivalent of like two. There's celery. This is two packs, celery hearts for uh, seven, and I mean, you wanna kinda of stay away from the higher sugar uh, vegetables like carrots and things like that, but they do have good packs of Brussels sprouts, and I find that these last in the fridge. If you don't buy them frozen, uh, the, this is a good place to buy them fresh. You get one kilo for seven. They've got lots of different cucumbers, the so Lebanese. These are 1.2 kilos for 5.90. They've got the English continental cucumbers, a two pack for three, and these are our favorite. These are the baby cucumbers. Uh, you get one kilo pack for nine. They're really good when they go on sale. There's uh, zucchini packs here. These are one kilo for six. And then you've got eggplant you have to kind of be careful with, but you can use a little bit here and there. These ones are $5 for the two pack. There's asparagus, 500 grams for uh, eight. And then you've got your capsicum. So they don't have just the green pack. So again, you want to be careful with how much you use because these do add up pretty quickly for carb counts. You get a six pack for uh, $8, you get two green, two yellow, and two red. 
and then a lot of people will use these little mini ones. They'll cut them up and put like everything bagel and cream cheese in them. Everything bagel seasoning and cream cheese. And these are 500 grams for six. And then you can get cauliflower. Uh, if you don't really want to cut it up yourself, you can get the cauliflower floret. And these are 750 grams for seven. And you can get the same with the broccoli and their seven as well for the same amount. And there's baby broccolini. So these are great to saute in a pan. You get 500 grams for uh, $6. And then they've got different types of mushrooms here. So they've got the king brown mushrooms. Again, higher carb count, so you have to be careful on how much you use. These are $8. Portobello mushrooms are $8. And then you got the sliced ones for uh, $5.80. And you've got the whole button mushrooms, the closed cap, for $5. And then berries here. So you get 250 grams of blackberries. And these are $12.90. And then they only have raspberries. These are the only two that are in season right now. And 250 grams for $11. So you can put those with like whipped cream on them or you can just snack on them, throw them in. Uh, I wouldn't, I would probably buy frozen berries for a smoothie just because they're much more cost effective, but these are a good little treat on keto. We do use red onions. Um, a lot of people say to stay away from them because they do have a higher sugar count, but I don't use a lot. Um, so you can get two kilos of red onions here at Costco for $5. But I use them in a little bit in salads or we put them on our pizza. So that's like kind of like the cheat night. Um, and uh, but it's still not cheat night because it's like a keto pizza so we just use them to kind of add a little bit of flavor to things and the other thing that we do use that some people well you just have to be very careful because tomatoes have a higher carb count is we use things like cherry tomatoes or um, even like the whole tomatoes and we will cut these up and throw them on salads or my husband actually likes one of these kind of fried up in a pan so the skin peels off um, and he eats it with his eggs in the morning but you can get the mix of tomato. I think these are, yeah, these ones here. These are $10 for one kilo. They've got just the regular um, baby Roma tomatoes. These are $10 for one kilo. And then these ones actually unfortunately don't have a price, but we always get the ones that are vine ripened because they, and that come on the vine because they taste and smell so much better. Eggs are also a really good thing on keto. I mean, they're definitely almost like a complete protein because um, so you've got your fat and everything. So they have the different ones. They have, you can get a 30 pack of cage-free, free-range eggs. And these are uh, $10 or $9. We always get these ones here, which are the Sunny Queen Farm Fresh caged, uh, I don't think they're caged eggs, they're cage-free eggs. And these are uh, two 30 packs. So you get 60 eggs. And I mean, I got some probably just over a week ago and we're almost out because we eat so many eggs in our house. And these are $14 for the 60 pack. And they also have the cage-free barn eggs. These are a 30 pack for $8.